Hey guys, Nikki here, and I am back with yet another video, and this is a spoiling myself. Listen, I'm going to go fast, because i got a lot to show y'all. I am a month behind. I was supposed to do these every month. Got a little bit behind, but I'm here. So if you're interested in what I got, let's go. So guys, of course, everything I am wearing will be linked below. This is a repeat offender dress. I love this dress. So let's start with my sponsors, Dossier. You guys know I love Dossier. I love perfume. I love smelling good. I love smell goods. And Dossier is it for $29 a bottle. Starting at, because they have some that's $39, I want to say now. We'll talk about that in a minute. You can get your favorite inspired by scents. I talk about them all the time, so let's hop straight into it. This right here, my dear, is the box you will get. Look, just like this. Dossier, you open it up. Whoa. <laughs> oh. In here, there is a card explaining everything you need to know about your scent, what it is inspired by, and guys, hands down, I'm going to show you right now a little clip. Can't nobody mess with dossier in the inspired by sense this stuff smells so much like it i reach for it more than i reach for the sense they were inspired by so this one right here this card has all of your notes on it okay this stuff is very affordable and let's just get to the bottle so here's the bottle right here you guys look at that bottle chic 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 Looks very good on my vanity, all right? Has a magnetic top to it. Boop, let's get into the scents. I'm gonna show you guys three scents and I have all three, okay? Three new scents that I got from them. So this one right here is, hold up. This one right here is Oriental Cherry. So you guys know what this was inspired by. I love that they have clean ingredients. Um, This is a lot, look how much you get. This is 1.7 ounce, that's a lot. This is a dupe for this right here. This is a $425 bottle. $29 or $39. <sighs> smells. I cannot even believe how much this smells like this. And this is one of my favorite scents right now. You guys know that. I'm going through some and I just switch scents all the time. Here's what you guys ain't ready for. I forgot the most important part. There is a sample in the box so you can try it before you commit to it. So if you don't like the scent, you can send it back and get your money back. This one right here is called Ambery Saffron. Saffron? Guess what it's duping, guys? You guys' favorite. <laughs> Which I haven't even used mine because I just used the sample. It smells just like this. This for sure, about to get sold because I don't use Baccarat. Y'all know I'm a go, gentle, fluidy go person. But this smells so much like it, I don't even want Baccarat anymore. I don't like Baccarat enough. This is a $270 bottle, I want to say. Get this. If you want to try it, please. Or if you're not a big fan, but you like it, but not enough to spend almost $300 on it. You get what I'm saying? Then the last one I'm going to show you guys is Floral Rhabarb. <laughs> please remember that I do have a discount code for Dossier below in a direct link click below support my people I love them over at the, over there and this is Marc Jacobs perfect dupe y'all look I just got this and look how much I've used and this bottle was $90 $29 girl Girl, I'm finna spray some of this on right now cause I love this scent it just smells like a sweet grown Jolly Rancher all right, <laughs> the link to Dossier will be below. Let's move on. Guys, I literally have so much stuff to show you guys. I'm going to have to be like a Zoomer. Good thing, if you watch me on a regular, you probably have seen most of this stuff in a vlog. But if you don't, let's go. I'm saving all the balling on a budget stuff for the end because it's so much of it. I think I only bought one, two, three legit um, designer items. And most of them are perfume, so I'm going to show them right now. We're going to hop straight into perfume. So I don't even know where to start. <laughs> I really don't. Let's start with Sephora. My cousin, this is not from Sephora, got me this, and I forgot how to pronounce it. Ramon Mangel, she's going to choke me when she sees this video because I'm pronouncing it all the way wrong. Here's the bottle right here. It's called Kiss My Name very very mature i even almost told that first cousin take that back because i know that probably was three four hundred dollars but 
it dried down so beautiful on me i absolutely love it i got tom ford so blank the shimmering body oil i didn't even bring that in here because i'm not going back and i thought i brought it out but i already put it up in my vanity so it's just the shimmering body oil guys because i really didn't like the scent but i really really like the oil i got mark jacobs perfect if you guys watch me you guys probably will see in the vlog where i was like should i get it should i not look at this bottle guys i'm gonna keep everything back here look at this bottle guys it is the cutest thing in the world and i literally wear this scent every day well i did <laughs> i got the dossier version okay 90 dollars at ulta very good pick i got love story by chloe this is probably 70 dollars at marshall's though so i can't imagine how much it was in a store this is the perfume here is the bottle right here absolutely love this for an everyday scent hell i could have did a another perfume collection video with all the stuff i got i got <laughs> valentino I did get the small bottle because I have so much. No, I'm just playing. They didn't have a big bottle. And I got one floor ounce of this. And this is what the bottle looked like. Also, all of these are me. Fun, fruity, girly. I do not like masculine or serious scents is what I call them. I also got Soul Charosa. It's the Soul Hanera scent. I love this. You guys know that I love I love the actual scent of the body spray and that's what I should have got because if you saw in a vlog, this don't last long at all. It was a waste of money, but I'm going to keep it because I like the scent. All right. I've been dying to put the stuff up. So I'm going to hop off a of perfume, but we're going to come right back on it just a second. Um, I went to the CCO, you guys. So I've been in the vlog and I got all this free. Okay. I got the MAC wipes, the big pack. I got the MAC Micellar Wipes. Um, if you watch that vlog, I spent, I bought some Tom Ford and was able to get a certain amount of products. So I got my Estee Lauder Double Wear. You guys know this is my all time favorite. I am in Amber Honey. I also got two lip products, two lip glasses. I'm not gonna go too much into that, but I'm ready to use these, so I'm glad. This one at the top is um, Prima What's that? Primordial. And this one at the bottom is Pleasure Principle. I got all of this free at my local CCO. I forgot how I spent over a certain amount. They pulled me up in the system and it was like, go shopping, honey. So that's everything I got from the CCO. I know I'm out of my normal spoiling myself, but I didn't feel like taking a camera and stuff into the beauty room. So I hope y'all are okay with me recording right here. We're just going to keep it pushing. Chanel, look at this box. I, st I got the ribbon on here and everything still. So you just take the ribbon off. Do I want to keep this box? Probably so. Oops, it's upside down. Chanel. So I realized that I did not have the original Chanel Chance. I have the, I have another version of it. Let's just say that. And so I ordered all of the other ones. Did I need them? No, but I'm on a perfume kick right now. I sent I sent a card to myself that says, on the way to being a millionaire. My good sis Peyton told me to do that. Like, speak it into existence, okay? So let me show you what I got. So I did get the original Chance. Love this. I thought I had the original all along and I had the Tinder, Tinder the pink one. I got the big bottle of that, but I love, love, love this. Is it, do you need all of them? Absolutely not. But am I extra? Absolutely. Okay. So I did get the, this lady taught me how to pronounce all these and I forgot. So the Evive or Evive, it is like the peachy one. I think this is my favorite one. My favorite one, hands down. And these were all around $80 a bottle. And then I got a fresh She told me it's nothing like it look, y'all. The green one. This the one you don't need, honey. I'm going to keep it, but you don't need it, honey. Okay, yeah. <laughs> okay, so let's move straight into YSL. Follow me on Snapchat and etc. Also, I just joined TikTok, finally. Um, I tell you guys about all these deals and stuff. They had buy one, get one free. Oops. So, I got two cents. All right. 
So I did get black opium because if you guys watch my perfume video, I was hanging on to the one I had, baby. And it was about two drops in there. So I just gave it to Suge. And this is the this is like the intense or something. Oh, it say right here. Intense. That's why it's in blue. And I got the big boy. I got the big boy. I got my cousin one too. She ain't like it. She don't like one of them scents that smell like chocolate. So she didn't like it. So I also got Mon Perry Couture. Not a big difference. So Suge got my original Mon Perry. And I kept this one because it has like a purplish tint to it. it. Smells exactly the same to me. So it wasn't a point of keeping both of them. Let's just keep it moving. Sis ain't got time to play today. House of Siage. Okay, I know I'm bright up in here today, y'all. Biggest regret of my life. But they they sent me some cute gifts, honey. So you open this up, and this is like a lipstick container right here. Very awesome packaging, but but how much this stuff costs? Not worth it at all. So that was one of my free gifts, and this is the lipstick that came in it that you put off in that container. I don't even want to talk about that. It came with tons and tons of samples and brochures and just everything in the packaging oh my gosh so i saw peyton charles hauling this and i was like i'm gonna give me some cupcakes see we influential on here i end up buying three of them okay three i put the picture of three because i gave one of my cousins because i absolutely could not stomach it it was the red bottle I, I could not i did not like it love their packaging they come in a box like this and it's just like girl it's the bum their packaging is bum let's just talk about what i did keep from them <clears throat> here are my cupcakes absolutely gorgeous it's supposed to be like 150 crystals on the tops of these these are originally 380 dollars a bottle let's start there that's the number one reason why it's not worth it i did get them on sale but they still was roughly 180 each a bottle and i end up giving one away did i say that already so this one right here is a passion d something i'll put it across the screen tops are just darling old lady powder old lady but i kept that one because i can give all of them away and it's no refunds cherry garden though absolutely love this scent oh it's nothing like tom ford lost cherry absolutely love this shit didn't last five minutes we went out to eat bacon until i sprayed it on me look this right here seventy dollars and lasts longer than that not worth it at all do not waste your money on this brand listen to big plat don't please know that in between takes i'm putting this stuff up so my house is not extra messy and girl it's a lot let's move into some little cheap shoes you know i love my little cheap indulgence okay so i got these from shoe deal i talk about shoe deal all the time 14.97 these are botetta bonega botetta Ooh. Bottega Bonetta dupes. Yeah. Of course, I got them in purple with this little kitten here. Now, these right here, I got these. They were $9.97. Just to walk around me, girl. Oh, I got some purple shades from there. Obviously, they were in this box. They were $4. Just some big blocker shades. So cute. These are the shoes that was in the box, though. Just got a bow right here. A little faux leather. Then I got these shoes as well. They were $16.97. Yeah, I don't even know why I really got these. I guess just because they were purple. Cause look at these little heels. <laughs> little, little heels. Okay. They a little lighter than these though. So very, very cute shoes and sunglasses. Shoe deals, check them out. I think they're local, but you guys might have them. You guys on the vlog, me and Bay went to Crackle Barrel. And I had just asked her to hunt this shirt down for me because I saw it in Alexis' uh, vlog. And girl ran straight into it. So anyway, I got two of these pins. They were $1.99. They're just gold, silver, and purple. Uh-oh, glitter going everywhere. I don't like that. Real, real cute. Real, real cute for me, girl. And then here's the shirt. It was $14.99, and it is a print shirt. I forgot I even got this, y'all. And it say Prince. 
and it's purple okay so i think nicole got the shirt also in that same blog you shot saw where she took me shopping so i got me this purple jacket at the nike store nike outlet and i got this in a large love this jacket just a little thrown jacket out the door and then she bought me some shoes oh they're size seven they look so big in this box dang why they look this big I love purple. I just love purple. That really, really excited me, okay? So that's to go with the jacket, but you know, I just love purple. So let's move over to Poshmark. You guys know I love Poshmark. I sell stuff on there, and then I always end up buying stuff. So y'all know how I am about my Starbucks cups. <laughs> I collected another one. I've been wanting this thing. And she put some little chocolates at the bottom. This was in there. I got to take them out so I can give them to Shug. So I got that cup. And then, and then, I got a few purses from there. So, thank you guys. So I think you guys saw me open this one in a vlog. It's a purple Kate Spade. I ain't even got it in here. So, I, I seriously couldn't even find my remote. That's how crucial it is. But this purse was like 18 bucks. I think on Posh and their garage sales and stuff, people don't be knowing the real value of their stuff. Girl, and I got it. And it is Kate spade 18 bucks authentic yeah and then i got two rebecca mink out bags so sign up for poshmark i don't have anything in my store right now it's about to be because i got a lot of stuff i need to give away get rid of not give away but they be have some good deals on there so i got this purple chevron bag for 50 bucks you guys saw this in a blog 50 bucks okay i also got this purple and gold i got the purple in silver regular padding and these are both Rebecca Minkoff these bags are $300 in the store for real and I got both of them for $50 okay so then I got a bag from Aldo I have been wanting and wanting and wanting it went on sale for 60 bucks so let me all right show. guys so this is the bag that it came in right here I love that bag and this is it right here oh my gosh i have been wanting this bag forever so this is what i've been telling y'all about like you don't have to get a balling on a budget chanel or whatever to get the look this bag was 60 bucks at aldo and it is big it is huge it come in white too they had buy one get one half off that day too and i should have got the white but i didn't i was looking for the tag to see this is called the green wall i want to say this was on this tag 60 bucks guys love this bag love it love it love it so i got that from aldo so i got some not too much more to show you the bottom on a budget is huge yeah Let me i promise i thought i was new to finish line and find a whole nother bag okay so i got these from burlington they are the white bottega dupes they were only 14.99 okay I hit a lick. Oh, let me stay on Burlington. I've, yeah, I've showed y'all all these, I think. But if you watch my vlogs, I got these Juicy Couture, like, bling leopard. Just some throw on. You know, every year I do this, like, cheap um, slide in when summer is coming. But I usually go to shoe deals. So I saw these in Burlington and just decided to grab them. I also found these Juicy slides that are blinged out. Okay contemplating taking both of them juicy slides back because i don't know what i was thinking but they'll be cute with some so i was in marshall's okay i told y'all on snapchat because see how long it took me to bring y'all this how well tj maxx 19 dollar crocs crocs are popping right now especially Nicki minaj done sold the pink ones out she about to sell the black ones out to get them for 19 dollars and one of you guys are like well platinum they're in walmart for 11 chow 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 those are not Crocs in Walmart. Croc is a brand just like Nike, Louis Vuitton. Just in case you didn't know, it's a lot of shoes that are made like this, but the actual brand is Croc, okay? So I got that yellow. I got a mint green, which is showing up. It's not really showing up, and I got a lot of these. I even like sent some off to my relatives and stuff because $19, these shoes are usually like 50, 60 bucks. And guess what I got? <laughs> the pink ones for $19 and you guys saw me wear these when I went blade throwing 
I had to put these on because I couldn't wear my shoes. So I got the pink with Nicki Minaj around for $19, honey. And you guys know I love Crocs. I even got a pair blinged out that I've showed you guys in a long, long time ago. So let's move into glasses. So I got another case like this for my glasses. I got it from my vendor. In here, I have all of my prescriptions though. I'm gonna throw some of these away cause some of them are really, really old, my old prescription and put some of my newer Zulu glasses I just got off in here. So I got a lot of balling on a budget glasses. So I'm gonna zoom through them really quick. So this is not a balling on a budget pair. I just love these. They're like blinged out in black. So I got these from my vendor. So I did move it a little closer so we can get straight to the balling on a budget glasses cause it's a lot of them, okay? If you're not a balling on a budget, I'm not going to do a disclaimer. I do what I want with my money. Um, you guys know I was buying a lot of purses and stuff to go on my rack out here. Um, and I'll explain that when I get to the purses and stuff. But right now we're talking about the sunglasses. I got this purple pair right here. I got this purple pair right here that say LV right here and Louis Vuitton on the side. And this is what I really, really like about them. It has like the mono print on the side. All right. I got this purple Chanel pair to say Chanel right here and Chanel on the arm. And if you guys are on my Snapchat, a lot of you guys caught these glasses. Okay. That's all I'm going to say. And here's another purple pair that's a little different. It has the double C right here. I don't know if that's focusing. Like, that's the weird part about this. And it says Chanel right there. I got a red pair that has the LVs right here. I also got a white pair, but they're in my car, and I didn't feel like going to get them out. Has it right there, the LV. I got this black pair, and it has Chanel blinged out right there. I got these right here. The newer Versace's. And this is in the Umbre Black. I also got them in the Tortoise. I'm not going to even take them out. I also got them in the Light. Now this is a fantasy pair because I don't even think Versace make them in this color. But they're cute. And then I got this blue to pink Gucci pair. Alright, since I have y'all zoomed in extra close, you guys know I cannot tell you guys where I got this stuff from on here. It's against YouTube policy. It's against anybody policy, alright? But I did get these earrings. Love, 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 love them. Yeah, everybody has seen these earrings, right? These are buying. Right, let's move into the buying on a budget section. Of course, that means these are not authentic items. Um, <laughs> I just see it. I want it. I get it. At first, I was buying the items to put on my stand. But my theory with bags is my everyday bag has to be authentic because I'm a tarred. I'm not tarred. I'm going to wear it every day, throw it around. Yeah, but this little stuff I'm sitting out on my shelf or to look cute on Instagram, child, who cares? And this stuff should still be high, okay? Um, if this not your thing, I don't need to hear that in the comments. I really don't care. Um, but if it is, you guys know how to reach me if you're interested because, of course, I cannot tell you here where I'm getting this stuff from. No particular order. I'm just going to pull a lot of the stuff you guys have already seen me in, so that makes this a whole lot easier. I'll pop a picture in, so, so, so. This is my baby, y'all. I don't care. I needed this CC with the silver hardware. I had one in gold. Girl, what I got on it from when I went to the steakhouse? I love this. Oh, my gosh. It is the, is this the double flap? Yeah. It's the double flap. Most of y'all already know where I get the stuff from. I'll be seeing y'all in the, the, on the, yeah. Hey, boo, hey. So, I got that because I have one. That's bigger than my gold one. I have one with gold hardware, but that's silver hardware. I love these belts. You guys know they make my waist look. <laughs> okay, so you guys saw me in this one. This one is too small for me, though. So, get at me if you want to purchase this for me, okay? That one's too small because you guys saw me in another one. It was too big, so I ordered it smaller. This is too small. Can't have a balance here. I got this one, the pearl one with the double G's. I got the plain gold one with the double G's. And I got the monogram one with the LB. So let's keep it pushing. I did get the infamous from the same person I got the earrings from, Prada Back. 
okay i did get that to go with that i did get the bucket hat y'all know i love my bucket hats this came from somewhere else i didn't get it where i got the purse so be very detailed if you ask me where i got something from outside of here i got the bling lv belt you guys have already seen me in that i also got the red cc belt <laughs> I got, this was gifted to me um, because it's purple. My battery's blinking, y'all. A purple baseball cap, LV. Purple, that's too cute. I also got a bag full of studs, the different studs. They have like the CC symbol, GG blinged out. You guys can't even see that probably. It's the whole bag full of just different studs. Boy bag with the rusted gold hardware. That's what this is. Okay, I forgot I even got that. Lord. So that's all of my balling on a budget items. One more thing. I thought we was at the finish line. I found three more balling on a budget items. I'm not joking. This has to be stopped. Okay, so I did get a YSL bag, a bigger one. I have a small one, but I needed a bigger one for when I go out. And this is black. Ooh, ooh, whoa, whoa, yeah. Hold on, I'm trying to fix it. I ain't looking kind of bootleggish. Black with gold hardware. It's very roomy. I have another one I can only stick like my phone in that thing. So I got this one, and I did get a black and silver one too. But it's going to be in next. Because this is like collectively. So over a two month time span. Because I was supposed to do these every month. Didn't get a chance to do that one for April. So this is April and May together. And then I'll come back in June with another one. Because I already got stuff piling up over there. Don't tell nobody. And I got a Dior. This one right here. The saddlebag. Alright, and I had to get the matching bucket hat. <laughs> Girl, why wouldn't I get the matching bucket hat? <laughs> but I'm going to be so cute. I don't care what y'all say. What, uh, what, um, uh, what's his name? Summer, baby daddy, London say. Y'all do or don't come out the store. Oh, <laughs> who cares? But we ain't got, yeah. I can't take this stuff to the grave with me. I'm not going to spend out. I, I, I will, but like I said, on my everyday dependable bags. And I still be cute. <laughs> Say what you want to say, I'll still be cute, girl. But the only problem I have with people wearing this stuff is when they be trying to act like it's real. Girl, that's where the problem come in. That's where the problem come in. So that's all of the balling on the budget items. Let's hop into the one last authentic luxury item that I got besides all the perfume. I had to have this. You guys know I have the purple one. My purple one is way too big now because I've lost 90-ish pounds. And you can't get the purple one anymore because that was like limited edition, special edition. Every year or season or something, Versace bring in a color and then after it's gone, you can't get it anymore unless they bring it back. And so I wasn't about to sell my purple one. So it's just a prop in the beauty room. Y'all know that. <laughs> but I saw this. But I love the robe. I genuinely love the robe. So I got another one. I think I want the black one too, but yeah, I got to slow down, honey, because we finna move. So this is the box right here. This is how it came. That tissue paper is bum. This was roughly, is it on here? Is it on here? Is it on here? Yeah, my camera had died and everything. It's not even on here. It just say multicolor. I think it came out to like $624 though. There's some stamps in here and everything. Stickers. What is all this Versace? I can't believe it's not a, a price on here. And y'all, y'all already probably can guess which one I got. Okay. <laughs> the multicolor one. And I got it in a large. Okay. Super, super cute. Thumbnail. Um, yeah. So, I do kind of still want the black, but I'm going to slow down a little bit. So, yeah. 
Love, love, love that robe. Love, love, love that robe. Which I wish I could collect all colors. I really can, but girl, I got other things I spend my money on, like my baby. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that's everything. I will leave all of the links below to the stuff I can share. I know this video is long. Big thumbs up for me because I'm hot. Check out Dossier and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye.